Welcome to the general strategy section. Here, I'm going to teach you my method to figuring out how to complete every level with all three stars. When starting a level, it can be overwhelming when you try to think, how are you going to get all three stars and finish the level while trying to avoid every trap that might be waiting? The easiest way to conquer this is to break down the level into two questions. How can I get the candy to Nam? And how can I get each star? Let's take a look at this level from Foil Box. First thing we should do is figure out how to get the candy to Nam. Since he is on top and the candy is in a bubble, we are going to have to float up to him. So let's first cut the rope underneath and float up. Now we have to position ourselves underneath Nam so we can float into his mouth. To do that, let's cut the rope on the left and swing over to the star that is directly underneath him. Once we are here, we can cut the bottom rope and just float up to complete the level. Even though we happen to get a star there, that was not our focus. We only wanted to get to Nam. Now that we know how to end the level, let's figure out how to get all three stars. What I like to do is what we might call a building strategy, where I try to get each star individually, starting with the easiest star, and then build on that to get the remaining two stars. Let's start the same by floating up. The easiest star is now located on our left. We can grab it by cutting the right rope. Now that we have the first star, let's build on that and move towards the second one. Conveniently, it's located directly below us. So all we need to do is pop the bubble and fall down to it. Once we've gotten the second star, we realize that there is a bubble just to the right of us, directly underneath the final star and directly under Nam. In order to get to that, let's backtrack to the moment just before we got the second star and cut the bottom rope immediately before we pop the bubble. This will allow us to get to the second star and in one motion swing over to the bubble and then float up to the third star. Now that we have the third star, we can simply float up into Nam's mouth and complete the level. You can use this method to solve any level. Just remember to first identify how to get the candy to Nam. Second, focus on the easiest star and then build on that to get the remaining stars. Finally, return to the position you discovered in the first place and complete the level. Don't believe me? Let's try it on another level. This one from Magic Box. Again, let's ask ourselves, how can I get the candy to Nam and how can I get each star? As the level starts, we see a red hat directly underneath Nam, so we know we're going to have to teleport through that red hat. Let's start by floating up and blowing through the red hat. This allows us to get to Nam and complete the level. Now that we have it completed, let's try and get three stars. First, you'll notice that there are two green hats to the left, meaning that they are connected. So with the bubble floating the candy upwards, the easiest star to get will be the top one. Once we grab that star and blow through the hat, we immediately get the second star. After the second star, we start floating up again. And what do you know? We're in position to grab the third star and blow into the red hat just like we did during step one. If you follow this method, you will be able to finish every level and cut the rope. If you're having any difficulties on a specific level though, please check out the level videos where I show you how to beat every individual level.